The church now owes a quarter million dollars in back taxes. And the, the tax authority here kept sending letters to the church saying, hey, you didn't pay your conservatory fees. And as we noticed with a lot of chapels, there's not really a place to put the mail on a church. You know, there's no mailbox, you know, because there's not somebody there. You knock on the door during the during business hours. Nobody is usually yeah. there. And yep. so they're going through foreclosure here um, and they're trying to uh, stop the process here. But I find it very remarkable here, Bryce, that an institution that has almost three hundred billion dollars in assets and investments can't pay its two thousand dollar conservatory. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> just can't believe it. <laughs> well, and beyond that, too, allowing it to go into foreclosure as well, instead of forking over the, the quarter mill uh, bill for it and back taxes. Yeah, right. Look, so clerical error could easily, you know, this look multinational, multi hundred billion dollar corporation. Of course, some stuff's going to slip through the cracks. That's OK. And then you pay the, the 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 fine or whatever to make the problem go away. And nobody ever talks about it again. The fact that they allowed it to go into foreclosure instead of just paying the fine. Yeah, leads me to wonder if maybe attendance numbers at that chapel were pretty lackluster to begin with. And they're like, yeah, you know what?